Put APNC in each city in this nation and watch how fast this country changes. This is the kind of program that's going to teach kids prevention. It's going to teach them how to step out off in life with their best foot forward. And it's the basic, simple strategies that this program teaches that make it so powerful. When they see me working hard, it motivates them, you know, to come in here and try to do better, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, it makes me feel better about myself that I'm motivating them, you know? So if I can help them just a little, you know, to be on the straight and narrow, then I feel, I feel like I accomplished Are you fed up with what's going on with the young people of today? Archie Moore predicted that this was going to happen when I knew him 50 years ago. Let's get out here and do something about it. Listen to these young men. Uh, pertaining to the incident in Chicago, uh, ABC would have offered a lot of prevention when it came to that particular incident. Uh, maybe not on the kid that took on 15 guys, but the 15 guys, if they had been involved in a program like A, B, and C, uh, they probably wouldn't even have been there. Uh, this program it basically teaches us how to say no with pride and dignity and not feel bad you know, as we walk away from things like that. Uh, normally in other programs and you know that are positive outreach programs uh, similar to ours uh, the boxing in particular that's involved with this organization helps our kids be able to walk away with pride and dignity where they don't feel like cowards you know to that incident that took place in Chicago and I watched it for the first time today and I was just angry I was very angry and I was almost angry at myself because I saw myself in those kids and I saw the lack of regard for life that it was like, it was, it almost seemed as if it was just, you know, they were getting a kick out of it to an extent and then to another extent it almost seemed like just, they didn't have a sense of self and, and it was sad, it was sad but it was also angering and it was angering to me because I felt like there was more that I could have done in my past. And there's more that I can do now to help youth and to help adults realize that we gotta restructure our priorities, and we gotta restructure our priorities at the how in the household. We gotta restructure our priorities at a community, municipal level, and then the state level, and the federal level, and just the worldwide level. We need to, you know, really come back to basics, to our roots, and really get a sense of why it is that we're living, and you know, why are we here. And um, I think a program like ABNC, for me at least, I was very antagonistic toward the world. And at a very young age, I lost my cousin to gun, gun violence. And he was a couple years older than me. And he was the role model that I looked up to. And I was angry ever since, very sheltered in myself, very intro, introspective, and always worry of people. Never really trusted anybody. And. Um, Coming to a program like ABNC and to other programs, not other nonprofits in the community, it, it's really helped push me and expose me to other bigger things, bigger visions that it is possible for one person to make a difference. And we see here in the example of, I believe his name was Darion Albert, that you know it took that and the fact that it was caught on on footage because I don't know if you guys have been reading, but the number of underage deaths have been increasing exponentially over the last three years in Chicago. And some people are alluding that to the fact that the school system was changed and a lot of the schools were shut down and a lot of these a lot of these kids had to cross gang lines. And um, it's just sad, you know, to see that it does start in the household and it's not a race limited issue, it's not a state limited issue, it's not a city limited issue, it's a worldwide pandemic, you could say that our kids need hope and they don't have a sense of purpose anymore. They don't have the leadership at a, they do to some extent, you know, and it takes a lot. It takes a community. It's not just one person. It's not just going to be one organization. It's not just going to be one vision. But I got introduced to the uh, gym, and I was just impressed by the energy, the electricity here, and the passion, and that's what excites me. Because you actually went to better colleges than I've been able to. So you know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm delighted you had the the encouragement and be able to succeed in those areas. I, my story is a little different. I came to ABNC already a young man, um, honorably discharged from the Marines, so I kind of have that toughness and that discipline already instilled in me. But encountering ABNC, you know, I was, as any young man, wild man, whatever, you know, there's a lot of uh, 
deceptions in life. And I was seeing those a lot when I was here in San Diego. Um, just because when you get out of the Marines, you're kind of fresh. You're kind of like a new baby in the in society. And the, I was uh, encountering a lot of a lot of issues. A lot, I was meeting a lot of people that were kind of trying to lead me in the wrong direction. And all my life, I had grown up fighting. I fought my way from the sugar beet fields to the classroom, and ultimately leaving my hometown in the Midwest to pursue uh, bigger, better ventures in life. So I knew. When I was in a an ABC, it like it gave me a sense of direction. Um, the boxing further it gave me a tool to to uh, express my 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 anger inside, and I mean it did a lot for me. And I saw a lot of the kids that, that I was uh, you know I would come to to practice with a, you know a UCSD or some kind of sweatshirt on, and these these kids would ask me you know in Spanish or English would be like what's that Where, where's that from. And I would tell them, and they're like, I tell them, you know what? You stay in this program, and you you heed what you learn here, and it will it will result in tenfold for you in the future. It's sad that we have to go out there and tell people to give to these types of programs. It's it's discouraging sometimes to have to tell people more than once that they don't get it, they don't see it, either because they're caught up in their cubicle or they have other priorities in life. But the, sad, the saddest part is that at the end of the day, it's going to trickle back into their household, no matter what community you live in, no matter what school you go to, no matter how far you try to go, because it's part of human condition. But everybody's uh, played this full with a lot of challenges, especially in what you talked about, the hard economic time. People are, you know, priorities are changing. Belt tightening going on all around, and, you know, people are cutting down, and youngsters are going to suffer. So it's, you know, pay now or pay later. So it is, it is a preventive measure to invest. And, you know, we picked a round number of $100 million. I, I, I insist, it's a piece of small change. In Washington, it doesn't even show up as a rounding error. It's okay. such a small investment in, our, in the generation. And the, and, the, and the good that can come out of it is incredible. And it has to be guys like you that make sure the leadership is the right one, that we don't become bureaucratic, we, we truly get the best best people installed, best best people leading these centers. You are the future guys. You have to you have to lead. But, and I really think pray that what happens here from this group right here is that something grows and it starts with this city that they realize the importance of our youth and that it spreads to somewhere else because the crap that's going on in this country, it's unacceptable. And I don't know how many of you all saw that incident that happened. Did you see it, George? Which one? I've seen Well, one. this is where this young kid, as an honor roll student, two gangs beat him to death. Ah, yes. And, and this stuff can be changed if we, if we work at prevention. You're a police officer. You know, if we work at prevention, and it's these young men have written letters that's going to go to different powers that be in this country. And then what we're going to do is then we're going to send also some personal letters to Oprah Winfrey. Because something has to be done. Because that thing that happened the other day, it sends a message to all the youngsters that are trying to do something to raise themselves up. It sends a message. Try it and see what happens. That's what it says. And I got this from another youngster in the bank the other day. I think I was sharing that with you. It is, and, it, and what it's saying is that, no, you don't have any protection, but yes, they do. Because what we do here, we teach our youngsters how to step off in life with the best foot forward, without cowardice, but with courage and dignity. And what A, B, and C has set out to do, it's going to be accomplished. It is going to be accomplished, and it's going to start here.